Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Rock Star, which I received from www.rockuniversal.co.uk. Before I start though, I must point out I did receive a free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review. My opinion upon that remains true, honest, and accurate. As always, okay, so the, uh, the Rock Star has uh, quite a few new features that I've not come across on uh, any other electronic cigarette model before, including a brand new style of atomizer and a brand new sort of um, tank system. Okay, so I'm gonna go into those uh, in a bit of detail, So, uh, but before we do so, go ahead and show you what's in the box. Okay, so the Rock Star comes in a quite a hefty presentation box. If you lift off the lid, inside you're gonna find a uh, instruction sort of guide or sheet. Underneath that, you're gonna find a fully assembled Rock Star. Uh, now, you may be thinking, oh, it's another Reva, another Tornado or Ego sort of style device. Um, but it's not, it's actually something completely different this time. Uh, the reason why I say that is because it's got a completely new um, atomizer. It's not your usual sort of 510 atomizer. It's something completely new. And it's also got a completely new style of tank system. And also it comes with um, quite a groovy little um, airflow adjuster. So you can actually adjust the airflow while you're vaping. So, but I'm gonna go and show you the atomizer in the tank uh, in uh, obviously a, a bit more detail sort of further on in the uh, review. Uh, so as well as a fully assembled one, you also get another spare uh, cap, uh, you also get a spare atomizer, and inside there is also another spare tank. So basically you're getting sort of two caps, two atomizers, and two of the actual um, sort of tanks. Uh, and underneath that you're also going to get another spare battery. Now the other battery there is a 600 milliamp hour battery, and it also comes with a 900 milliamp hour battery. Uh, you're going to get six of these uh, sort of spare mouthpieces. You're gonna get two uh, spare, I don't know what you call those, sort of control rings, which is for adjusting the airflow. And you're also gonna get a, a USB mains charge, a USB charger, should I say. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a, a USB mains adapter, so it will have to be a case of sort of charging out via your PC or your console, unless you happen to have a USB mains adapter. Okay, so like I said, the uh, no, it's got quite a few new features here which haven't been sort of seen before. So uh, let's uh, start off and just sort of uh, show you the actual tank and the um, and the atomizer. Okay, so here we have the uh, the new style of atomizer that I was telling you about. Now on the base here, it is actually like a five ten thread inside now. But um, so you can use like regular style 510 atomizers or cartomizers on the Rockstar battery. But the actual atomizer itself, as you can see, you know very clearly, it's something uh, very new to the market, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, I've not come across anything that looks anything like this at all yet. Uh, right down the centre there, inside that little hole, unfortunately, it's quite dark. But you can uh, hopefully maybe able to see the actual heating coil. And on either side, you've got these small pieces of wick. Now on the actual um, the tank system or the tank itself, you can see there right in the centre is a, like a, a long sort of shaft, and that will line up sort of perfectly with the centre there to obviously uh, cover up the uh, the heating coil and prevent like e liquid from basically sort of flooding it. And the e liquid goes all the way all the way around the outside of that shaft, and that's how it gets uh, soaked up by these two pieces of wick, which then feed the uh, the juice down onto the heating coil. Uh, on the sides here, you have got two uh, clear windows, so you can always sort of see exactly how much juice you've got left in your tank. And on the top here, you've got um, a very sort of thin piece of uh, polyester wall. Now, the only reason I can think that is there is to hopefully sort of soak up the uh, condensation. Because uh, unfortunately, you know, when you use these sort of tank systems, you do get a little bit of condensation build up at the top. And sometimes, you know, if you're quite unlucky, it will sort of travel up the uh, the mouthpiece. Uh, but, you know, I've been, well, I've actually had one of these for uh, well over a month now. I had the original one before they sort of, um, before they'd done all their retail packaging. They sent me one out to sort of uh, test it, basically. And um, so far, you know, I've not had any uh, juice come up, so it seems to be actually sort of doing its job quite well. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, sort of uh, fill it up and then uh, obviously uh, attach it onto the actual Rockstar battery and tell you a little bit more about the, uh, the airflow band. Okay, so to uh, fill up the tank, I just personally find that it's easier to do it when the actual atomizer is on the battery. So all you've got to do is uh, screw that on there and then you're ready to go for the, uh, the next stage. 
then the next thing you need to do is actually fill up the uh, the chamber or the tank with your chosen e-liquid. Now we'll say that once it's filled up, always make sure you're keeping it upright like that until it's actually attached to the uh, the atomizer. Because obviously, if you if you don't, it's all going to fall out. And also, when you're filling it up, make sure you avoid it going down that central hole there. So you want to hold it a bit of a slant. And basically just use the uh, the windows here as a, a bit of a guide. Now I've not been filling it up all the way up to the top. I've been doing it so it's about sort of um, just a bit of a gap left there on the glass. And I'm finding that's uh, working sort of pretty much perfectly for me. Okay, so I'm just uh, stick that in, hold it a bit of an angle and give it a squeeze. A little bit more than that. That's it. Okay, so uh, like I said, I can't really hold it a bit too much of an angle in case it's going to fall out, but you want to try and leave a little bit of a gap there in the window. And then you're going to take your battery with the obviously the atomizer already screwed in, keep your tank uh, the right way up, hold the battery upside down, and just uh, screw it into place. And that's it. You can turn it upside down now or do whatever you want and it's not going to go anywhere. And then finally you just need to uh, take the mouthpiece and that just uh, slots into the top there. Now the other new feature that I mentioned at the start of the close up shots was this band here which basically allows you to sort of uh, control the airflow. So for example we know some people would like a a nice sort of light airy draw other people prefer a nice sort of tight draw so if, it, if you're finding it too sort of tight you can basically just sort of slide it over and increase the amount of airflow if you're finding it sort of um, too airy then you can slide it back the other way and actually decrease the amount of airflow so again it's another nice little uh, nice little feature there and um, you know it does give you that ability to basically just sort of find your own sort of a uh, little sweet spot okay so let's uh, quickly uh, zoom out and then uh, show you it in its uh, fullness as it were and uh, so that is the actual uh, rock star um, like I said you know you can have this uh, pen lid as well well it's not pen lid but you know it looks like a pen lid so you can whack that on there and then if you want to sort of you know attach it to your, your t-shirt your jeans uh, then you can do so okay um, so that is the uh, the rock star uh, so let's go and see what it actually vapes like Okay, so that is the Rock Star. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and show you in action. Okay, so I've filled up the uh, the tank or the uh, the chamber with some 18 milligram strength uh, tobacco flavored e-liquid, which I think is called uh, Virginia Tobacco, which uh, the guys at Rock also uh, kindly sent out to me. As you know, vapor-wise, it produces a really nice amount of vapor. And they've got the, uh, the little sort of uh, control ring on the side here, which actually adjusts the airflow. And you, you will find that, uh, depending on how you've got it set, you know, you will notice a slight increase or decrease in the vapor. And it really is a case of just sort of like um, you know, playing around with it, finding the, the right sort of uh, airflow for you personally. And I find that the easiest way to do it is just basically sort of take an inhale without pressing the button, and then sort of just adjust the uh, the little slider there, you can actually sort of feel the differences in the actual airflow. Flavour wise, is actually, um, I personally find it's absolutely excellent. I mean, I really am a big fan of the, uh, the tank systems. Uh, but one sort of slight drawback is that sometimes you can find that the uh, the flavour suff uh, suffers a little bit. Not quite as much as what other people seem to experience, but for me personally, you know, just a little bit. Uh, but with this uh, tank, I'm really am getting uh, absolutely tons of flavour coming through. Um, throw hit wise, getting a really nice strong throw hit. I like to do a mouth inhale, we take it into your mouth, breathe it down into your lungs and it gives you that sort of kick in the back of your throat. 
And I personally find that the higher the nicotine content of the e-liquid, like the stronger or the harsher the throw hit. And I'm using 18 milligram strength here, which is what I normally use. And um, which it's not sort of particularly high, it's not particularly low, it's sort of right there in the middle. I still find it's giving me that really nice, uh, strong kick in the back of the throat. Uh, battery life on it. Um, now you've got two batteries. One is, I think I said in the close up shots that they're 600 and 900, but they're actually 650 and 950. Now the 650 milliamp hour one is last to me almost a full day. So by the end, sort of like towards the end of the evening, I am having to sort of reach out for the charger. Now that's me being based on like a moderate vapor. If you're a particularly heavy vapor, you know, somebody sort of. Uh, chain vaping from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep and also you're not going to get anywhere near that amount of vaping time out of it uh, but for me personally you know the 650s last me almost a full day and the 950s last me the full day plus you know like a couple of hours extra in the morning and the next day as well so for me personally with the amount that i've ate you know battery life uh, is, is really good The, uh, the switch on it, switch works absolutely perfectly. You now you press the button and it fires up every single time. Now in the close up shots, I don't think I mentioned that it has got an on off feature. So if you uh, see uh, like the three clicks on, the three clicks off. So if you uh, tap it three times, then it will flash at you and then um, you press the button and it won't light up and it won't activate. So if you want to carry it around in your pocket, uh, obviously when you're not vaping it, you just uh, you know turn it off and it's not going to activate in your pocket. Then when you want to vape again, Tap it three times, it will flash at you, and that's it, you can start vaping again. You know, so in that sense, you know, the switch works uh, you know, perfectly. You've also, I think, again, I forgot to mention this in the uh, close-ups, right around the bottom here, you have got a very sort of thin, and it is very thin, sort of ring of light. It's actually sort of quite hard to see, and uh, that will light up uh, different colours to let you know how much sort of charge you've got left in your battery. So when it's lighting up uh, blue, it means you've got... Uh, a like full battery. When it gets to an orange colour, that means you've got forty-five percent left. And when you go to the red colour, that means basically you know get your charger out and start charging on it. Now, uh, I'm sure people are going to be asking me like, um, am I getting any sort of dry hits at all? I'm not getting any dry hits whatsoever. You know, it really does. It is a case of you, know, you fill it up. And you can vape it until it's pretty much sort of, uh, run all the way dry. So in that sense, you know, it works absolutely fantastic. Uh, and the other one is going to be, you know, am I getting any uh, leaking out of it? And again, I've you know not had any leaks whatsoever. Like I said this is the actual sort of retail version, but I have had the uh, like the uh, a version which was exactly the same apart from it didn't have uh, like rock written on it. And I've had that now. I got that about sort of four or five weeks ago because they sent out one for me to sort of basically sort of test and get my opinion of it. And I've used that one for, you know, well, I haven't used it for the whole five weeks, but, you know, the first week I had it, you know, I use it pretty much every day. I didn't have any leaks whatsoever. I've used it, you know, sort of quite often since then. Still no leaks. I've had the new one now. Um, again, still not had any leaks out of it. So leakage-wise, for me personally anyway, no problems at all. Okay, well, there's not a great deal else I can really sort of tell you about it, you know. So I'll get on to the, uh, the scores. Uh, for the looks, I think it's actually, you know, quite a nice uh, looking device. I'll quite happily give that an 8 out of 10. Uh, the vapor production, I think it's easily on par with any other sort of uh, um, device that's running at the same sort of voltage. I'll quite happily give that an 8 out of 10. Uh, throw hit, I'm getting a nice sort of strong throw hit. That'll be another 8 out of 10. Uh, battery life, you know, it's not going to be quite up there with your sort of big battery mods. Now, which you can take like you know sort of 2600 milliamp hour batteries but it's never less so for a device of this size battery life i think is you know very good for me personally anyway uh, so i'll quite happily give that a i'll give it an eight and a half out of ten uh for the uh the switch you know switch works absolutely perfectly you know nice and comfy to use you press a button it fires up you can turn it off you can turn it on so i can't really there's nothing really negative i can say about the switch so i'll have to give that a, a 10 out of 10. Okay guys, if you fancy trying one of these out for yourself, go along to www.rockuniversal.co.uk, type in this code at checkout and that'll give you a 10% discount every time you purchase from them. 
Thank you very much for watching and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers guys, happy vaping, see you later.